Let's go. Guys, I need the girls, please. It definitely had a street vibe, but it was a it was a mix between athletic wear, if you will, uh, and African Maasai. Uh, African Maasai jewelry turned into clothing. You know, it's like, I was really having fun with playing with like the different, different references and mixing them together and seeing what happened. I was in North Africa and, uh, and, I, and I found jewelry there and I, the shapes there were actually quite similar to what I was doing throughout the collection as well. And then, you know, I've been working on a lot of uh, tour costumes this year as well, so I suppose part of that rubbed off as well. I call the Pucci collection Gymnasium because we're seeing this whole idea of kind of gymnasium sportif throughout the season, but it was very Gymnasium when we got to Pucci. Peter Dundas encrusted hoodies and bomber jackets, and even the idea of a tracksuit. It went to uber luxury when it was all over beaded. Very sexy, very sporty. We're seeing a lot of that. We've seen that at uh, a number of actually a number of shows here in Milan. Absolutely street style, you know. And, but you know, Peter does it. He does it in this really luxe way that makes you feel, you know, very sophisticated, very sexy in it. So street, yes, but in in the most elegant and feisty way possible, as he knows how to do. And also really fun where he took the idea of that traditional Pucci print that we would expect from Pucci, but did it in a silk short, and then from underneath it did a bike short in Lycra spandex. Very 1990s, with everybody talking about the 90s this season. That was actually like an African-inspired print that was done in 63, I believe, something like that. And uh, the insignia belts are, were boxer belts. So for me, that's, you know, I, I had no problem with, with like mixing it, uh, mixing elements of that's part of the house as well. You know, it's like, I actually have fun with it as well. It's like, I, I don't like white canvases and this, and you know, the house has a life, it has a soul, and and I'm just part of it, part of that that history.
We're actually seeing a lot of the 90s translation on the runways coming through with a little bit more of a purist, minimal attitude and a little bit more of an architectural spirit. But he did it over the top and opulent. So a lot of designers were taking the idea of architectural seaming and, and details coming through and cut. He just layered on beads and stones and crystals. A huge amount of beading. I mean, the beadwork was exceptional. The cuts were exceptional. Very um, sexy, as always. But I can't imagine that they weigh something like five or ten pounds, those dresses. I mean, I have to carry them on in your airplane. It's part of the collection that's always a lot of fun to do. And that this time, it again, it's like I, I referenced it, uh, a, mix, a mix of sporty and a mix of graffiti mixed with the Maasai as well. And, well, you saw what it, what it began. This is really a spectacular show, a spectacular show that was a spectacle. Well, energy is definitely one of my top priorities when people come in, and I just want people to have a good time as well. You know, I think fashion should be about pleasure.